the Angel and Tina Morning Show. How are you guys today? We're going live on YouTube. <laughs> we are going live on YouTube. Good morning. Good morning. We have our guest today, Bill Walsh, with us. Hey, Bill, how you doing? I'm awesome. How are you? Glad to be here. Well, we're super you're glad so, you're we're here. We're so excited that you're here. You guys are like the Energizer Bunnies at <laughs> 7 in the morning here on the West Coast. Right. <laughs> We're Thank a little you. bit Good later. Morning. Welcome to it's the up. Angel and Tina. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's okay. Um, eight, she's at eight o'clock and I'm 10 o'clock. So it's not too early for us, but we, right. they do say that we're the Energizer Bunny of the morning. <laughs> no doubt. I can feel the energy right through the computer screen. Right. Well, we are. We're, we're the bright start to your morning. And really, that's how this happened, Bill, was we were we had put together some virtual summits as everybody's pivoting and shifting over to the virtual side. Somebody, I think we had several people say, you guys should do a morning show. You guys are so much fun. So we thought, well, during the pandemic, while we're all stuck at home and we're all working from home, we get to be at home and stay safe. We started doing this, this show. We're, I think we're in our fifth week now. We wow. are. We had 67, well, now like 70 something guests. So a lot of views, a lot, a of, lot of audience good members. It is. It has been super fun. And so we are. We're, you know, for our West Coasters, it's a little bit early, but we've gone global. We've had people from all different countries come in and join us. And so, Bill, you're coming in. You're coming in from Vegas, right? Vegas today. Yes. Ah. I was probably yesterday when I called in because I was a day early, but all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. At least I'm you're here. here. I was trying. I was trying to figure out which time zone you were going to be in when when we booked it. But we're so glad. We're so glad you're here. How how's the uh, how's the uh, pandemic been for you? Where have you been quarantined? You know, it's been. Uh, I would say the pandemic has been a time of innovation. It really is the fact that it's either innovate or you're out. You know. Yeah. So when when I think about this, we were doing a live event down in Miami on March the fifteenth of this year, and sure enough, um, the hotel went from ninety four percent to 16% occupancy. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, the writing's on the wall if we don't make an adjustment. So I had an idea that morning to launch a, a digital summit. And I had talked about this crazy how this is. I was on a cruise just a few months before that. And I made an announcement by the end of the year, we're gonna launch something called Success Summit. Not knowing it was gonna happen quite that fast. <laughs> I went to buy the domain name, it was like 12 grand. So I wound up getting Success to Summit 360 for like 20 bucks. <laughs> I called some friends like Mark Victor Hansen and Sharon Lecter and Michael Gerber and James Dantley and Angel Tussey and all these amazing people. And Tina, that's could you come be on a, be a part of this? And everyone said yes. Mm -hmm. And so literally within 11 days, we had the idea. We mapped out a whole new website system just for this. We got a great streaming system that streams on multiple channels across the web. Amazing chat system, order entry system, coaching system all built in inside this platform, text opt-ins for the keynotes. And we offer just free coaching, just give away some free coaching to our coaches that were on there and do a revenue share with them. And within 11 days, we had all this stuff happen. We had 1,275 opt-ins over 6,000 views. And that was all within 12 days. We did a 12 hour, one day, all intense summit. And of course, right after that, everybody had a summit, right? But we were definitely one of the first ones to make that change. And now we did is we create, we took a library of that content. So we took all these, we are over almost a hundred hours of content. Now we cut them into 20 minute splices and we launched a membership site called success club 2020. So for 99 bucks a month, now you have access to all the best training tools, systems, programs, all kinds of great stuff. And this all came out of an idea because of the fact that, um, you know, the market was changing dramatically. And it's you even, had to pivot, you done. had to change something. We had to innovate and elevate. So, Bill, right, everybody was in the same boat, like the whole yep. world at the same time, shifting and, and dealing with it. And yet there are there are people that are you know sitting back and they're waiting and they're worried. So all it was almost like the level the, the playing field was leveled and you yeah. saw the opportunity and you took action. Like exactly. you, just, you just rattled off. Like we did this, we did this, we did this. Like you <laughs> took immediate and swift yes. action. Being able to make the, those kinds of decisions and seeing what's on the horizon, I think is what has set you apart in the marketplace because there are so many people that are just sitting back waiting. Right. Well, I mean, how, how, I mean, is it like this fire inside of you? How do you decide yeah, like this is the time? Kind of like, I think that, the secret to success many times is there's something called playing above the noise. So when all the noise is going around, if you sit in the noise, you'll hear nothing. 
But if you elevate above the noise, you hear and you can see everything. And so I always try to figure out if there's a lot of noise going on, number one, how do we elevate above the noise, right? And then how do we get a clear picture, a clear vision of where this is going to go? Because at the end of the day, there are still people around the world that would like to start businesses. There are people around the world that would like to write books. There are people around the world that would like to get their message out there. The difference is the message has changed. The method of the message has changed, that's all. So when you start to think about what you've known for most of your life is that, you know, large gatherings at schools and events and sporting events, well, that's going to change. It's going to change dramatically to a different view that, you know, as I walked through the airport yesterday, the, the loudspeakers telling us all about the virus and be, be aware of the virus. And, you know, what, what you're, you, what's happening is that the, the greater killer of, of, all, of all success and of all things in life is not the virus, it's fear. But it felt like a movie set. It literally felt like a movie set that, you know, I'm on the movie set of some crazy movie where- Zombie you know, apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, where the, the contamination is here. And, you know, and, yeah. and the thing is, is that is, is, it is very devastating. It is very um, earth shattering. It is very, you know, uh, the, the death tolls are just so ridiculous. People have died from this thing already. But, yeah. but life's going to go on, you know? And I think once again, is that hopefully in the next three to six months, they'll have some type of cure for this or some type of vaccine. But, you know, this is just a sign of the times. And the sign of the times says that to me that we're going to see more digital. We're going to see robotic training. We're going to see more people working at home than ever before. We're going to see exoduses from these big cities. You're going to see city populations, and it's already happened. The last three years, New York, Chicago, and L.A. have all seen declines in their population. So I, I think the writing has been on the wall for some of this stuff. And, and you've already had some people that predicted some of this stuff earlier and you know talked about some of these things. Because once again, if you're just going to put all the money to fight a physical war, but you're not going to put money aside to fight these um, virus wars, well, then the virus wars are going to pop up too. So I think, once again, it's being able to raise above the noise, figure out where the market's going. And, and, and the biggest thing you have to do is you've got to execute. You know, what most people do is they get something called paralysis of analysis. You know, they'll keep telling you about, telling you about, telling you about something they're never going to do. When in reality, the doers are out there doing a little bit every day right now, and they're, and they're making a difference. Bill, what do you, like, we have a lot of viewers out there that are sitting there waiting like waiting okay what's next what should i do what should i do what should i do what what could you tell them what kind of advice would you give them for those people who are waiting trying to innovate trying to pivot but they're waiting and they're not well, I mean, the first thing that i would tell them to do is that any of these government programs that are out there take advantage of them any government program at all that can give you some grant money some funding some short-term money some three percent money get as much of you can in your coffers and, and get your, get your, get as much finance in the house at low interest rates, just like our government's doing. Our government's going after super low interest rate loans to the tune of $3 trillion. We've added $3 trillion to the debt in less than three months. Wow. Unheard of. It took us 50 years of this before, right? What took 50 years was done in three months. So if it's good for them, it's probably good for you. And, and then of course um, it's lowering every expense you have. So look at every credit card you have and figure out once again, what is the payments I've got to make? How can I get these paid down through these low interest government loans to get some of the stuff taken care of? And look at every expense you have. I don't care if it's your lights, your gas, everything. Call everybody and see if you can get some of these bills lowered so that you can, so that you can really begin to shore up um, your expense modules, right? And they are, they're super open to having those conversations with you right now. They are, and they are. And so if you, if you look at everything that's on your expense line, pull your credit cards out, pull your, all your monthly statements of any bills you pay. If you've got extra cell phones, get rid of all this stuff. Get the lowest payments you can on some of this stuff because you're not, you, I'll give you an example for myself. I have a lot of cars, right? I don't drive any of the cars now, right? Even the limousine that I have that drives me around in Chicago, that's park too. So I call my insurance company, State Farm. I save more than 50% from that one phone call. I save how many, how many cars do you have? Plenty, but I save more than a thousand dollars a month, right? Just in car insurance. Wow, so but that, that makes perfect deal. sense, right? We are not driving them. Yeah, right? so you just go to comprehensive, go to comprehensive, and cancel everything else, right? And and sure enough, um, that thousand dollars a month now I could put somewhere else. That's twelve thousand that dollars a year. I mean, right? Big money. That's a lot of money, and you don't even think about it, right? I look at our travel expense, right? Our travel expense is probably down you know, at least 50 to a hundred thousand dollars a well, month. Well, yours definitely is. <laughs> yeah. 
So, you know, I didn't. We were, we were talking about that, that even though the, the shift in, you know, revenue it ha has obviously shifted for those that aren't out there working, but your expenses have definitely dropped as well, right? Your entertainment, you're going out, your, your gas, travel. Your travel. Mm -hmm. And even for going to events, this is one of the things we're seeing so mm -hmm. such an increase in attendance at a lot of these events. Yeah. You don't have to get a babysitter. You don't have to fly. You don't no. have a hotel. Right. You don't have to book. You don't even really have to clear your schedule because you can be yeah. from city to city to city. All and You can all in turn all. take that money and invest it into yourself and invest it into your business. Mm -hmm. Well, this is probably the greatest time for self-investment. I would tell everyone that's listening today that, you know, it's almost like you go on vacation to read a book for a week. Well, this is a time you can literally, and, and I do recommend once again, the government programs have provided it so that you can literally make about, for people that have like a, let's say a $35,000 to $75,000 a year job, they can make almost as much sitting home as they were making going to the full-time job. So don't sit home and think this is a forced vacation. While you're at home, launch a secondary business. That's why you're seeing home-based businesses boom right now. Right. They're going through the roof right now because you can join a home-based business for less than 500 bucks. Yeah. You can do everything you can right from the computer. You can make phone calls. You can send out texts. You can do emails. You can do newsletters. You can do all this stuff. Put them on a vid you know, digital training calls and let them go sign up. And everyone right now needs to be healthier. My goal was to lose 20 pounds. I think I gained 10. <laughs> So COVID-19. Right. So I pulled out the I pulled out my bike and I began to swim every morning. I began to bike ride and you know, so and, and of course I'm eating healthy, but even though I'm eating healthy, I'm still just sitting around not moving. You're eating around. more, right? Well, walking, well we're just walking. yeah, we're yeah, walking we're just five, sitting. six miles a day. Yeah. yeah so. right? We used to be walking through airports, hauling suitcases, right. right? moving stuff around. Yeah, right? Ten thousand yeah. steps every day. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. We now have, now we have Zoom fatigue. <laughs> So, yeah, so and I, th I think part of that is that if you're not willing to, and, and, I, and I put this post the other day that, you know, and, and it really comes more from, it's a, it's a military phrase that's really about, you know, adapt, improvise and overcome. And I just change it a little bit to make it adapt, innovate mm -hmm. and overcome because improvise here is not going to be enough. It's just not improvise when something like this hits is not enough. So you've got to innovate. Mm -hmm. So you've got to adapt to what's going on right now. You got to figure out how are you going to innovate? And how are you going to overcome this, right? And don't think that every day doesn't go by that I'm not thinking about, you know, I'm already six months out on our decision-making, two years out. You know, when you're renting convention centers and big halls and hotels and all this stuff, right? You're already pre-spending a quarter of a million dollars to a half a million dollars before the day even starts, mm -hmm. right? So now you've got to figure out, well, where do I appropriate that? What is the best way to do it? Which hotels are going to have social distancing spacing, right? How far out do we have to move some of these events, especially in target cities, or do we move to smaller cities where they don't have those problems, right? We have found that certain markets in Texas have had very little, you know, very little of this stuff to affect them. You know, maybe even going back to South Florida, you know, going to Tampa, going to different markets where they're not seeing what you're seeing in New York or Chicago, right? Or LA. So there's, there's a lot of things you have to do, but, but that one word in there, innovate is something you got to think about every day. It's that, what have I innovated in our business today? Just mm -hmm. ask yourself that question. So, Bill, are you going to be the new normal? Are you going to, are you, are you, are you seeing that, that live events are going to happen in this year? Are you, are you, are you planning? Well, yeah, live events will definitely happen. I mean, I, I think the difference is that once they have uh, certified testing in place, hmm. that'll be the big difference. Once people have been tested, you know that they're either asymptomatic or they're, or they're not, or they're already had the virus. There's a pretty good chance that um, they'll be fine. Um, I, I think, you know, even for our events, we'll buy fever meters, right? So when you walk in, you got to just get, a, get just have them check your fever, right? That's all it takes a second. And there'll have to be waivers everybody has to sign. So they'll have to have digital waivers and live waivers that says, listen, if you come here and get coronavirus, we're not responsible. That's your choice. Does that make sense? So these are things um, that we have to really uh, be present to in terms of what I certainly called it. And, and I posted this back in February that there's a new economy coming. You know, and this new economy is here and it's either you're adapting to it, right? Or you're going to wonder what happened. You're going to miss it because there's also a lot of opportunity. I mean, my friends that own different restaurants here that have done delivery. Well, yes, their, 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 their overall gross revenue has gone down, but believe it or not, during this time, their profits have gone up. These are smaller sandwich shops, right? And pizza places that have gotten rid of some of their retail altogether 
But because they've gotten rid of the retail, most of the mega restaurants are all closed. Their business has gone through the roof. Yeah. Because they innovated, so, they changed it to delivery and free delivery and free that's business. Right. That's right. They, they, they built their own, they built their own walk up. They didn't even have yeah. walk up before they built their own drive. They had no drive through. So yeah. they built a drive through. Yeah. That's how a lot of restaurants here in Charlotte are too. We had, um, Panda Express, they had this little walk-in little yeah. takeout thing and everybody had their little six feet apart. And I was like, oh my God, it's amazing how people can just innovate like that quickly. Quickly, but the major restaurants, you're going to see a lot of them go out of business. Yeah. There's no way that they can make it back to this. When, when you're talking about like Cheesecake Factory default on all the rents, they said, we're just not going to pay rent anymore. Mm. You want to kick us out, kick us out, but we, we can't afford to pay rent. So all of our whatever it is, 300 locations, or, and these are prime time locations. Yeah. Like we're just not going to pay. So, you wow. know, we've got to do, because once again, if they can't use the space, right. I mean, even for us at the state of Illinois building where they shut down two months ago, only we can go in the building, no guests, no customers, nothing. I'm like, well, that's not, that doesn't make any sense. Right. So, you know, we've already, we've already moved into a new location near Woodfield mall because it doesn't make any sense for us. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's these things that, You've got to look at all the things you have in front of you and figure out how can I adapt? How can I innovate? How do I overcome? And, and you've got to really have that mantra every day, adapt, innovate, overcome, adapt, innovate, overcome. And before you know it, you'll start to come up with new ideas and new solutions that you didn't even know were possible a week ago. Wow. That so is not looking for me right now. We're looking for companies to buy, right? Who can we team up with that has a real shortage of cash that maybe has a good product or service, but they have no bandwidth. Well, yeah. I'm telling you these, these people that told me that they were seminar speakers or promoters, all of a sudden they have no seminars to speak at, right? And they really don't have their own database and so now they have nothing. So I'm going and I'll take a third of their company or half their company and, and, and do and bet with them on revenue because I know that if we can put them in front of enough people, we can help them drive revenue. Hmm. So. Well, I, it, this is exciting, but I'm super glad that we're having you on. We've been we've been talking about all these different ways, different companies and different guests. I'm on your website. How do I get the launch party started? I don't understand that. So, so we are live on YouTube right now because it wouldn't let us go Facebook Live. Yeah, oh, so we're not on Facebook Live. We're not on Facebook no. Live. We're doing it on, on YouTube today. Okay, um, so where is YouTube at? I'll send you the okay. link, Bill. Well, okay, just send me, yeah, just pop me the link and I'll just share the link on my page. Okay, I will do that. So um so bill so you talked a little bit about like staying healthy we talked you know the COVID 19 which is like the extra COVID 19 pounds right how, of course. how are you balancing because now like for so many they're they're just having a hard time and i was one of those like I, it's so easy to just stay connected online all day long how are you balancing like some personal care and some health and wellness in there well if anybody wants some free product you know i've been i've worked with a company for years and they've given me um some extra revenue but I've also always endorsed the products, right? So um, we have some products, some health and wellness products. I'll ship to anybody for free that wants them. So if they want to try a product that it's designed to help you lose five pounds in five days, we can ship the product to you, no charge, and just let you try it out. Um, but in addition to that, it's it's really about a, a different a different mindset that I've pretty much gone to a regimen of a shake in the morning, uh, a salad for lunch, and then That's one. That's what I'm doing right now, my little shake. Yeah, that's it. So it's just one healthy shake. And I'll tell you, I bought one of those Ninja blenders, whatever it is. And yeah. all we do is we throw, uh, you know, I'm fortunate that um, the person that's in my life, she actually puts all the stuff in there, grinds it all up with apples and fruits and avocado, whatever, whatever you can find in the fruit market basically goes inside that drink. And, uh, and I drink that in the morning. So that holds me over until around one o'clock. I have one healthy lunch. And then uh, it's always, it's always some kind of salad. Um, probably the dressing is not so healthy, but the salad is. And then it's just one good meal. So chicken or steak or whatever it's going to be for dinner. And that's it. So there really is no. And, and the other thing, too, is if you'll do this, if you just won't buy the junk food, you won't eat it. True. That is it's so really true. crazy how this works. If literally if you'll just not buy any of the chips or all that garbage, if it's not there, you're not going to eat it. So you'll eat something healthy. So what I recommend is this kid that's like 14 years old told me this a couple of years ago. He said, eat blueberries. So I literally have boxes, Daniel Bissonette, I have boxes of blueberries um, in my in my kitchen refrigerator, and I just pull out a box of blueberries every day. I eat one little tray of blueberries almost every day. So, oh, I love that. Yeah, he's he always been on our Connect Summit a couple of weeks back. Yeah, we did have Daniel. We That's always been mine. I don't have the discipline. If it's in the house, I just don't bring it in I'm the house. Eat it. But we had, my girls were here visiting for about three weeks, and okay. we they, they like to bake. 
So they were baking breads and cookies and brownies and cakes. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah, no, that would not work so well for me. <laughs> they laughed. Yeah. They laughed. And so um so now 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 we we've, we've curbed we've curbed the bread. But it is trying it is making time for some fitness. Um you know, we had Melanie McSally McSally on the show. She's a triathlete and she's, yeah, she'll yeah. she'll keep you in shape. Well, just, yeah, just hire, to, just hire Melanie to come live at your house for a couple weeks. One hour of, of walking <laughs> is not going to combat the 12 hours of us just sitting all day. So a little exercise, a little. And then Connie Pontoro, she was on helping us. I know. We she's, not, she's another girl. She'll get you in, she'll get you in certainly uh, in great shape. That's for sure. She has really pivoted her business. She now oh. offers virtual mat classes, um, fitness classes. They've been able to. And now people from all over. So if you they had a fitness location, and you can have only an X you know capacity into into your studios, but now that you've just opened the doors, and even even for these events, Bill, we've just been blown away by the the number of people who will pop in, who will register, who will attend, who will oh, yeah. who will stay. That um, it is it's it's very exciting for you know when we were you know, what it would take to fill a room. And you know what it takes to fill a room, Bill. Ramp up to marketing and advertising. Uh -huh. Here, you send it out to a handful, right? Your list. Yeah, and you send it out to a handful. And before you know it, you got a large group on there. Yeah, it is. yeah our first Connect Summit was very well. It was, we had over, well over 500 people attend. Wow. And that was with 28 speakers. It's amazing. And we had people on there that just wouldn't be able to get to a live event. But then the thing you do, guys, you can take all those sessions, you can cut those ones up and then restream them. So you can cut out each section that you recorded, put your image on the front and the back. And, and then before you know it, you can actually take that same information and make it available to your whole database where they can go back and watch that. Whoever, you know, whoever your fan favorites were, you can replay those. Um, and you can even take what you're doing here now to go to like something like live stream create your own little TV station. And that station can run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, where you just take your segments and just drop up your segments, go to somebody like Fiverr, make a real inexpensive commercial, put the commercial in between them. And now all of a sudden you've got a buy now opportunity, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for about 40 bucks a month. This is this is why Look at Bill. The, the idea yeah. just pop yeah. off of his head. Yeah, if you ever so okay. this, this is one of the things I met. I met Bill oh, probably almost three years ago now yeah. at at an event and had a I went I I VI, went VIP and was able to have a, a lunch with with Bill and a and a small group of people and around the room each person you know kind of has their question or their challenge or what you know how they're wanting to elevate. And to watch Bill come up right on the spot, he's like, you do this, you do this, and here's this person, or here's this connection, or here's this idea. And that you can, you've just got this, this roll of this phone. Hold on, I have this number here. What's your number? Let me give it to yeah. you. <laughs> he's like, you're like the Google for business, Bill. Thank you. Well, you know, I, I think when you, when I, I study every day, mm -hmm. there's not a day that doesn't go by that I don't study two or three hours a day on new and exciting ideas. And I've got calls this morning with companies who want to buy. Right. We've already we've already invested in probably a half a dozen different companies in the last couple months just because of their ideas. And and when you're at this point, it's not like you got to put up a lot of money. What they need is marketing. They need someone to help them get some distribution because I don't care how good you are if you don't got customers or live people to talk to. And, 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 the, and the rules have changed that now you've got to learn to close one on one. You've got to learn to close big ticket. Right. Most people can't even sell low ticket. Right. So you've got to understand that now that because the rules of engagement have changed, right, is that you've now got to move them down a path into uh, either a high ticket sale or some kind of membership site. And the membership site, what you guys are doing here is creating great content. Everybody can create great content. I think it costs like 10, 20 bucks to get a Ring Central or a Zoom account. And before you know it, you've got some, you've got content. Then take that content, put it behind a, a simple WordPress site or something like that. And then of course, you know, you, you've got to go out there and talk it up. And, and, and the big part of that too is just, help people get some results. Just begin to post the results they get. I know that if I can help people with just their time management, it's worth every dime they pay me for that. I was offered a role yesterday, come and be our CEO, pay you 25,000 a month. I'm like, I don't know time to be someone's even part-time CEO, right? I've got so much going on. He says, well, how about you just advise us? And okay, I'll do advisement for 10,000 a month, right? So just to do advisement, which is only like up to 10 hours a month, that's not a bad deal for extra, extra income. 
So you got to begin to think about how can you apply yourself in the market where your greatest value, of course, as we know now more than ever, is your time. But really, what are the results you can help them with? So I've helped companies a lot of times by doing some consult, you know, some complimentary consultations, but it usually maxes at about three hours of anything complimentary. After that, I said, listen, um, you just got to get your checkbook out. So if you want to have me for a day, it's 50000 for the day. If you want to do th different things like this. So you've got to figure out, once again, what is your value marker? Because Jim Rohn said it best. He said, you don't get paid for your time. You get paid for the value of your time. Mm. But it's your job as an author, speaker, trainer, coach to keep doing your homework. Keep finding the newest, coolest things that are out there and then go do the homework on them or have someone else do the homework on them. Sometimes I'll, I'll send stuff to Austin. Hey, Austin, just go review this for me. He'll come back with a great review, right? Or, or this is no good. And, and these are the things you've got to do is that you've got to be willing to put the hours in that nobody sees, right? Mm -hmm. To make the hours they do see seem like you make it look so easy. Wow. Yeah, and you do. You do make it look so, so easy, Bill. But we know that you are, you are running around the clock, running oh, yes. around the world. How's it been? Um, you know, you were, you were on an airplane. You were one of these that would have breakfast in Miami, lunch in Chicago, dinner in LA, in LA. <laughs> right? And you would, you would just speak your way across the day, across the country. How has it been for you just to shift and have it all in one place? Well, I think now it's, uh, you might think it's one place, but it's really not because you're still in multiple places every day, right? So you're in multiple places virtually. So we launched something called Network at Noon, where twice a week, it's free networking. Just come in and network. You don't got to do anything but show up and talk to people. You can make appointments. They can check out your LinkedIn while you're talking there. They can book an appointment on Calendly to work with you. And it's free. We don't charge anything to come in. We don't even charge you to leave. Free to how come in, people, free to leave. How do people um, join that? Well, I think people are joining, but you know, what happened was last week, we, the link didn't work because um, myself, I'll blame myself, but the link wasn't set up properly on our, on our login page. But, you know, but the same thing, where did Network at Noon come? I, I can't believe that that domain was available. You could have you, Network at Noon events all over the country now, right? So wow. but this is something where literally um, it's so easy to have fun, and but people got to show up for their own success. Mm -hmm. See, the funny thing is that they'll always show up to watch somebody fail but they won't show up to watch somebody succeed. Mm -hmm. So when you have an opportunity to go network with new people and sit at tables and talk about your business, damn, show up. Unless you're writing all kinds of business, you don't need any new customers, but this gives you an opportunity to go talk to people, network with them, hear a 20 minute keynote on some topic, right? And then of course, go back to networking. We even made the stage available so that the speakers come up and just talk about their own businesses. I don't care. At the end of the day, if you provide the most value, you'll almost always, and you have marketing, if you'll provide the most value with some marketing, you're going to make the most money. Mm -hmm. While they all bitch and moan and whine and complain, right? You've got to keep innovating. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, this has been yeah. So normally we would have we would have two guests on on the show, and and I knew this morning I knew this morning was only going to be Bill. I'm like, well, Bill, we didn't have to do his bio today. <laughs> we, right? Yeah, Bill. Bill will have Bill has plenty of plenty of content, and he's so inspiring for for business owners. Whether you want to launch or grow an even bigger business, this is what Power Team has been doing. Yeah. For years and they've always been the leader in innovation the leader in being able to pivot to make quick decisions but he's right if you're not showing up if you're not making yourself available to to new customers because the opportunity is there but we have to i love how he started it we have to elevate above the noise and yeah. get out of the noise and put ourselves and so who are we associating with so bill who are some of your your mentors that i was you gonna can... ask that same thing i was gonna say who are the people you... i don't know that you know I, I don't you know it's funny i posted a, a bmx picture last a couple of days ago right when i raced bikes and i couldn't believe you did that by the way it got so I many like, it got is that so him? likes and comments and yeah that was me number 76 in front and and i talked about the fact that when you're in front the view is always the same mm. do you know what i'm saying it's when you're trying to fight through the pack and the noise you know there's no dust when you're at the front of the race mm. it's when you're behind the people that are in the front that you get all the dust right so what happens for most of us is that we you stay in the dust because clearly. a lot of times it's more comfortable there right mm. but to get out of the noise which means you've got to elevate your own game i liked it when michael jordan was in college and he hit the game winning shot. And when he hit the game winning shot against Patrick Ewing and, 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 uh, and he, his name went from Michael to Michael Jordan, hmm. which meant that at that moment, he was defined not no longer as Michael from North Carolina, he was Michael Jordan. Didn't matter where he was from, right? 
And, and, and then he went on, of course, to go to the Summer Olympics and became the greatest player in the NBA, right? But, but it, was a, it was a decision that he made to take the last shot, right, to win the game. If he misses the shot, maybe it's different. Who knows? Maybe he goes to a fourth year of college, right? But when, once, you're, once you begin to elevate, all of a sudden it's your job to stay at the top of the game. And, and that's why sometimes you got to turn the noise off, you know? When, when he was getting harassed about his gambling because he was playing $10,000 a hole in golf, well, 10000 for him is like 10 bucks for somebody else, you know, so get over it. But, but the same thing, he just shut the noise off. He said, that's it. I'm done talking to you guys. I'm out. I'm here, to, I'm here to let all my speaking be done on the court. And I would challenge you guys today is that let your speaking be done in your court of business, whatever your business is. But you've got to be willing to do what you guys are doing, right? You went on the air right away. You're, you're getting new followers. You're getting new leads. You're getting new opt-ins, right? And, and these are the things that most people just won't do. They won't take the time to ask themselves, not just what does my customer need? What do they want? We know a lot of our customers that are out there, they need um, some, some, sort of, uh, some, some sort of understanding that it's going to be okay. You know, that in different businesses, it's not going to be okay. Some businesses are going to be obsolete after some of this stuff, right? And, and there's going to be a big change in that. And it's either you're present for the change or you're going to watch someone else that made the change make all the money you could have made. So, you know, I challenge everyone today is that, you know, change is here. There's no doubt about it. But it's never the fact of what happens. It's what do you do to when something like this happens? How do you how do you correct and continue? So and you guys are doing it right. I give you guys a lot of credit, and I don't know why you should stand every day. Stand every day and get some sponsors for your show. Put a little advertisement up here of the sponsor because you're getting people to watch this. Power stuff. Team oh. International is here to sponsor the Angel and yeah. Tina Morning Show. Yeah. <laughs> but but the but the more of that you're going to get, right? That means now you can take the money and buy some advertising. Even if you had, I mean, listen. If CNN did not have advertisers, they wouldn't be on TV. MSNBC, if Yahoo, Google, these guys all, they're all living on advertising. So it's the same thing. You've got to think just like the big people think. Think like the biggest companies in the world think, right? But then apply it to your business where you can move a lot faster than they can. You've got to take one side of your screen and make it all ads for the day or, or ads that re resonate, right? Why not do it? Just a thought. <laughs> Both Gina and I are like, Hmm. Right. Oh, right now we are both. Our, I I seen our wheels just right. going. Right. So when we when we started right doing the doing the every day and of course thinking that it was a short term that we were going to be home for short term we're all going to be back on the road we're all going to be going but as it's gotten longer yeah. recognizing this is this is a this is definitely never going to go back yeah. the way it used to be. Yeah. This is our new normal hmm. for sure. Right. But there is so much opportunity. There is so much, so much. And, and it's been, and it's exciting to be that bright spot. When we talk about the bright start to your day, I mean, even listening to, to Bill, if you woke up this morning, just not sure, just feeling a little bit anxious about where your business is going and, and what direction this was a whole seminar really in and of itself of yeah. how to cut back your expenses, where to find revenue, how to find marketing, how to find yeah. people, um, how to monetize it all, all the way. And that's, and that's just in 30 minutes, right? That's just in 30 <laughs> minutes. With, with we're just, we're, listen, we're just getting started on this TV show. <laughs> this show is just warming up. And I wish we could have this on Facebook because we have so many. Why can't followers. you guys stream on Facebook? I don't understand. Well, so, so this morning we had some, we had some technical difficulties about, <laughs> and Zoom and Facebook didn't want to play nice together. So we did plan B and put it out on YouTube. So it'll, we'll stream it. We'll grab it out. It'll still go out. It's just not yeah. going to go live. It's just yeah. not going to go live. But they're, they're, they're lost. There is so much. <laughs> there is. Uh, this is one of those where the show must go on, where we yeah. don't we don't even stop. So I think like two weeks ago this happened, and we were like, um, um, what do we do? And now it's just like, oh, we're gonna go to YouTube. Oh, we can't go to YouTube. Let's record it, and we'll just do it live. So we just we pivot every single day, however we need to do. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny, it's funny that I see people now doing like they're. I, I'm making a lot of our speakers do their little one minute promos and I'm watching some of those one minute promo for the show. Well, now that we got the one minute promos going now, everyone can do that. Right. If, if somebody can do a one minute promo, somebody else can do it too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And these are the things that if, if you're not doing this stuff, right. It's like, what are you waiting for? Do you think you're like waiting for some kind of message or something that, Hey, things are changing. Hey, what do you do differently? Right. 
you know, hey, how do you put out your 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 best stuff? I bought banners from Build a Sign, fifty bucks a piece, sixty bucks a piece, right? They became my backdrop. Yeah, look at Angel, same thing, right? So this is important, everybody. Is that always be advertising, right? ABA always be advertising. If you're not, you know, you just wasted all that time. You know, could you ever imagine watching any newscast where they don't got some kind of advertising on it? Oh, that's right, they don't exist. Do you see what I'm saying? So what happens, most people, they, they put themselves in a box where there's a pretty good chance they're not going to exist because they're not utilizing things that make them self-sufficient. And, and, and even though these things are inexpensive, if you don't have them, it's costing you more than what you'd ever paid to have them. Do you see what I'm saying? So whether it's our Rainmaker Summit or our speaker program, right? We're, sell, we're still selling speaker camp tickets, right? We have one ticket left for our, I think one or two tickets left for our big event, June one to five in Vegas, right? The hotel in Vegas has never closed. The Western Lake Las Vegas has never closed. Our country club here has never closed, been open the whole time. So, you know, a lot of people think that, well, my God, everything's dying. No, some businesses are doing pretty well. But, you know, the thing is, once again, is that you've got to adapt to what's happening, right? You've got to be present to what's going on. You've got to be willing to innovate today. And if you're not going to innovate, you're done. And then, of course, overcome. Bill, talk so, about, you, you said you had a couple of tickets open for that platinum for, for you. So this is our five-day course. We build your product box. We shoot your promo video. We create your signature talk, top to bottom, your 60-minute talk. We teach you how to get booked on stages, virtual stages now. We now teach you how to set up your virtual war room for under a thousand bucks. So you're streaming within seven days. Within seven days, you're streaming, right? And this is the thing that most people realize that, good, I did a, great, I did a stream. Now what do I do with it? How about if we could show you exactly how to take that stream take that content and monetize it. Hmm. This is all within five days, 10 to 12 hours a day. And then 60 days after the event, we're going to put you onto a, a live class or a live stream, whichever is the, whatever the hottest thing is at that time, to help you go out there and market your stuff. Yeah. But if you've got a message, you've got a story, you've got something you're great at, why not learn to monetize from the front of the room? And, and so this course, we do that and they apply for it. We have a new launch page just for this called platinumspeakercamp.com. You cannot buy anything there. You can only go through and look at the information and actually fill out a survey. A team member will call you, but at PlatinumSpeakerCamp.com, it has all the details for this. But once again, we're not going to slow down. We're just going to, we're just going to adjust the, the marketing model that we did in the past. Even like for our big live events, we're going to move into workshops where the workshops are paid workshops, free in person, pay on digital and very affordable, like 10 bucks, 20 bucks. But now the speakers can go promote that and keep the money and make sales and they can make one click sales right from the right from their presentation so the idea that you have to be boxed in oh my god it's not going to be perfect hey listen first of all it's never perfect but it's always what you do with it that makes all the difference why other people are going to complain and they're going to whine about it you can't do that you can't sit home and have a pity party no one's going to show up for your pity party these days it's not going to happen so at the end of the day if you've got four hours today invest three hours in sharpening the axe Sharpen the axe, sharpen the axe, sharpen the axe. Lincoln said it best, right? If he had 10 minutes to cut a tree, six minutes to sharpen the axe or seven minutes to sharpen the axe, the other three minutes is chop the tree. So think today in your day, if you got 10 hours in your day, because we know as entrepreneurs, that's not even a half day work, right? But if you got 10 hours in your day, you better spend at least half of that sharpening the axe, getting better at what you're doing. And then of course, begin to innovate and put it in motion. The, the platinum. I always want to take notes when I'm listening to him. Like every time I'm with him, I have like pages and pages of notes. And we all do. You can't talk. You can't write fast enough. When these, are, right? these are things that we're living every day, you guys. I mean, this is stuff we're doing every day. It's not like, um, you know, my team sometimes will work around the clock and, and I can show you pages, right? We've launched brand new sites. Our newest program called Quantum, Quantum Entrepreneur, right? We've launched that now by application only. Quant, who, who, who's ready to become a quantum entrepreneur, right? Because it is going to take quantum leaps in your thinking to even be able to digest where these markets are going. But if you don't know where the markets are going, I promise you're going to be left behind. So we're looking for those quantum entrepreneurs, right? We launched Power Team Live with our new live shows every day. Every day there's new live shows, right? I don't care if there's five people there or 500 people there because we'll take that stream, we'll, we'll cut the stream up, we'll remarket it again. Um, we launched the digital, the digital Success Summit, Success Summit 360. This all came within a matter of, you know, weeks. This is, you're not talking about months or years to make this stuff, right? This came really fast. We now launch also one of our newest things called Bill Walsh Live. So Bill Walsh Live is on Tuesday nights. That's a one hour featured segment. See, all I did is I figured out what do they do on TV? 
How do they break up their broadcasters on TV? This is not rocket science, you guys. It's really not. Figure out what they do very well on TV, right? And then put it on the stream, except move towards the positive. See, the problem is that people don't show up for the positive. They show up for the negative. They'd rather watch somebody burn in their car than they ever want to watch Tony Robbins talk about having success. They love the drama. They love the negativity. The reason they watch that is because it makes them feel better about themselves. Yeah. Those people's life are like that. Oh, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. <laughs> and believe it or not, that's why they watch negative television programming. So right? my thought was, oh, but, but look at the way they process. Look at the way they sell their ads. Look at the way that they promote stuff. Breaking news. Everything is breaking news. They don't have any news. Everything's breaking news. So why don't have some of your own breaking news? Right? Breaking news. We're going to have somebody on the channel. Okay, good. Because once again, if these gigantic marketing powerhouses all use some of these processes, you can learn from what they do. Yes. You can absolutely. learn how they set their screens up. You can learn how to do their backdrops, except now you can do a whole green screen backdrop for under 200 bucks. Go to Amazon, get a couple of these lights that I have here in the room. So the lighting. I have the same package from Amazon. And, that, and that's all you need. So in, instead of going through all this other stuff, right, be, be ready to, to instantly elevate your game and, and don't need to spend a ton of money on it. You can spend a little bit, but you need to be ready to go and, and go fast. You and know, so fast. I don't care if three people yeah. show up, you know, or five people show up or 10 people show up. You start creating some good stuff. People are going to come, but you got to stay on the offense with the marketing too, because people are, people are generally lazy. You know, if they have a choice to watch some TV show and now you don't forget your show right now is competing with national, national campaign TV. Right. So, and they know that, believe me, People in the TV market know that there's all these new shows springing up. And I promise you that some of these online channels will be much bigger than the TV stations. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And people are binge watching, right? And you're right. Yeah. They're binge watching. Binge watching Netflix. And That's and me. I was watch, I watched Lucifer. That was a crazy show. <laughs> on Netflix. And I'm like watching three shows at a time. I'm like, no, I got to shut it off now. That's it. Back to work. Right. Right. You take and I love like how Bill, the first week, I remember him showing pictures of his war room and right. getting packed up and putting, you know, lights and getting a green screen. And he had all these tables set up and markers and sticky pads. I, 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 on if the I wall. can turn my laptop around, you guys would all see it. Let me, let me see if I can do anything. Let me unplug. I don't have a lot of stuff plugged in here. There you go. You guys can see, you can see the war room, right? There you go. And this is his war room. This is where all the magic happens. Well, and you know, all set up just like that. Right, he is set up for business, but look what he has. We launched, we launched, we launched, we launched. And most people are sitting back, you know, still thinking right. about so maybe, maybe right. still one waiting. idea. And, Can and I do he, this? Oh, it's not perfect yet. But like Angel Tessie says, <laughs> done is better than better perfect. Than, is That's better true. than none, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, done is way better than none. And, and you're figuring it out. Like you're figuring it out as you go. And, and, and we are, we're looking at new software every day. If you notice there's like 10 new softwares now for streaming, mm -hmm. you know, which one is the best and which one combines this. And, and even you, you said last week, some of the technology didn't work, you know? So like I, I did my first Zoom speak thing yesterday <laughs> and I, I was like doing all this stuff myself. And I went up to Angel afterwards and I was just like, Oh, I don't think it did very good. She's like, Tina, are you crazy? You sold half the room. <laughs> hey, listen, that's how this, that's and how you I was know, like, right? but it, I had to do this and I had to do this. And she was like, Tina, you did it. So be yeah, done is yeah, better than end, none. And day, everybody uh, has. You guys know I've shared this for years that you don't got to be great to start, but you got to start to be great. Mm -hmm. Right. So I challenge everyone today, start to be great. Right. Mm -hmm. Start that's with something. Fair. Start somewhere. Get your first live stream done. Do your first 10 minute talk. I see so many speakers that uh, I don't see them doing much of anything. It's like, come on, guys, let's get out there, get something going. Step one, get a domain name, right? Step two, come up with a specific topic. Step three, begin to interview good people, right? Find a VA, if you need a VA, right? Get these good people on your show. Get them on your show and get a good backdrop and get a little bit of marketing going. Go spend 25 bucks a week on Facebook. Spend the Facebook marketing right to their own audience. So the audience of the person you're going to have on there, buy Buy ads right to their audience, right? The people already know them, like them, and trust them. And before you know, if that person come on the show, then you're going to have a lot of people on the show. And people then invite more people. And then take those recordings, become an affiliate for that person. Try to become an affiliate somehow. Put those, put those videos inside of a, an archived area that only they can see them here. And after three months, you can launch a membership site. So while you're selling some high-ticket coaching 
you're bringing on bigger name speakers that you wouldn't have otherwise because they're looking for exposure too. Don't kid yourself. Mm -hmm. I look at some of the biggest names out there. They have no more stages. They have nowhere to go, right? And I've got a whole list of these guys. I mean, this week alone, I've got the number four guy in the world in organizational marketing. The other guy sold 5 million books on our stream. Hmm. He's going to talk to you guys about how to write your book, right? There's not many people that can say they've, they've sold 5 million books, legitimately sold 5 million books. And this guy has. Yes. So to have him talk to you about how to sell your book. I love, really powerful. I love, love, love him. You're right. Everybody, everybody is looking for first stages right now. They're looking for those opportunities. And Bill, you've always been able to create that. That is one yeah. of the unique features, especially if you're looking to learn how to become a professional speaker. Um, learn it from somebody who's out there doing it every, every single day. day, who's teaching it, and then has stages, has the opportunity for you to speak on, which is a total differentiator. Most others that are teaching speaking don't have stages for, for you to speak on. Nope. And our team does. And Bill, Bill, you've you've just launched and I've watched you. I, I, I knew as soon as as soon as all of these events get it started canceling, watching you build that uh, build your war room and to innovate. Yeah, you, can't, you can't wait long, guys. You can't wait. That's no. the big thing. Don't yeah. wait. Don't wait on your plans. And even even if it's not perfect, right? We're still getting better each time, right? That you've got to start. It's a start, right? You launched, you launched what, like 10 different things in the last five weeks? Yes, we have. You're 100% right. Like a we went, year. We went week. from 40 live events a month to zero live events per month in one weekend. And then we went from zero digital events to now we're at 25 digital events a month. I love All it. in five weeks. And he yeah. launched like around 10 different programs and sites and all this stuff in a five week period of time, which he wouldn't have been able to do that. There's no way that we would be doing the stuff we're doing today had this other stuff, had this other stuff not happen, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you gotta right. look at it that way and you gotta figure out, right? Is that every day you wake up and ask yourself, what are the lessons? Mm -hmm. What did you learn from what you've watched happen, right? What were the lessons? And now how can I, how can I learn from the lessons? How can I innovate even faster? And this is where the difference between those that really win and those that, you know, I call the rich and the super rich, right? The super rich do not look and say, oh, my God, there's so many problems, right? They look and say, look at all these opportunities. Look at all these amazing opportunities that are out there, right? And the rich will look around and say, oh, I've got this. I'm going I'm to try to hold on to it, right? And, and then those that aren't rich at all are going to talk about all their problems. They'll just continue to spew problems at you, right? Well, I would tell everyone just take a deep, take a really deep breath and figure out once again, we are where we're at. This is what it is, right? This is, this is part of the new economy. How do I adjust to, to correcting this new economy to get better, to get smarter, to get faster, more efficient? And I will tell you that in the first four weeks after this started to happen, I was working 12 to 14 hours every day. You know, now I've cut to about 10 hours a day just because I just make it mandatory that at the 10 hour mark for the day, I'm done with this for a little bit, right? And I do recommend buy a cheap projector and put on a big screen so you can shut this, shut the, your, your laptops off so you can see a big screen versus a small screen, just good for your eyes. And, uh, and I recommend that, and this is really important, is every two hours, take 20 minutes. So every two hours, go get some fresh air. Just go sit outside. I go sit in the back by the, by the lake, and I literally just sit by the lake, and I just shut down for 20 minutes. But every two hours, take 20 minutes. You'd be surprised how much more powerful you are if you'll just take that 20 minutes to check out for a little bit. Your, your brain's still thinking, but there's no laptops, no nothing. You're just kind of just just zoning in. The, in, the, in That's the, where I had to get these little glasses because my eyeballs were hurting me by the yeah, end but of you, the day. Yeah, but if you'll go buy a cheap projector, you can shoot it on the wall, you yeah. won't have that problem. I'm and only looking at the, screen, the screen now. What's that? Going outside is going outside is so, so good. important. Mm -hmm. so every two to three hours, give yourself 20 minutes. It works. Yeah, it I is. This is this is fabulous. All right, Miss Tina, do you uh do you want to catch people up on what you've got coming up this week? I do. I have the Connection to Client Blueprint launching my new course, uh, launching on May fifteenth. So I'm so excited for that. I'm on two different summits. You and I both are helping hosting uh, Manny Lopez's Network of Influence today. So I'm so excited for that. Um, but I'm Tina Torres, the client retention expert, otherwise known as the gratitude specialist, where I help you. <laughs> what do I help you with? <laughs> I'm just so inundated with all the stuff Bill was saying. <laughs> um, I help you create loyal clients for a lifetime. Turn those clients into raving fans and increase your cash flow without adding a single new client. And if you text the word connection to 26786, you can get my seven ways to increase your cash flow 
right now. So text the word connection to 26786 and you can earn, get that little freebie there. And if you're interested in the Connection to Client Blueprint launching on May 15th, make sure you text that word as well and you can get some information for that. I love it. I love it. Bill, How do you, I know you gave away a couple of different websites and a couple of different ways people can get in touch with you, but is there like one? You like, know what, the best thing to do is that there, I, I wrote a book a few years ago and it's still a bestseller. And I think that it's a great thing for this time right now. Um, you've seen the movie, The Secret. I wrote a book called The Obvious. So I recommend everybody get a copy of the book. Um, it really gives you just 10 laws of, of what it takes to win in life and business. So I'd give everybody a free copy. Just text the word obvious, pretty simple. O-B-V-I-O-U-S, obvious, text obvious to 26786 and you'll get the book. I see how many people ask me, how do you spell obvious? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, obvious. And I also just watched this last weekend, Bill, um, a new movie called Beyond the Secret. Beyond the Secret. Yes. And you were in it. I was in that movie. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Yes. Matter of fact, we're going to have the the executive producer and financier of that movie on our live stream this Thursday. Oh, so awesome. Digital Success Summit. Uh, we'll have him live Thursday talk about that book. But we got folks coming in from Singapore, from Bali, um, just for this event Thursday to talk to you about, you know, what's happening in that part of the world. So it's pretty cool to get a different vantage point of what's taking place in different parts of the world. So we got a lot of good that. stuff planned. I love Angel, it. Angel, what it. about you? I know you have a lot of things coming up. Right, we do. That's our sexy is coming up. We have Sharon Lecter coming tomorrow on our morning show. All we right. do, we do. Uh, Sharon Lecter is launching a, a brand new event called a Money Mastery event called Assets Are Sexy. It's Friday, May fifteenth. She's going to be on the show with us tomorrow morning. Um, so super excited about that. You can register for that at assetsaresexy.com. Complimentary tickets. Learning how to just elevate your wealth and and making more just more clear decisions going forward when it comes to creating wealth, financial literacy, um, you know, kind of minding the gap of, you know, there's less than 1.7% of women in business that ever hit a million dollars. And so Sharon's on a mission to help, you know, make that number even, even bigger. And you can register for, for free at assetsaresexy.com. And then if you want more media exposure, you want to create your, your 10 day media transformation, I've got a compliment guide you can download that at makeyourbigimpact.com that's makeyourbigimpact.com and I highly recommend the power team programs I am a rainmaker graduate I am a, a power team founder and I am a platinum speaker graduate it launched my business when I retired from radio two years ago my first phone call was to Bill Walsh saying all right I'm hitching my wagon to you Let's go. And it has been, it has been an incredible journey yeah. ever since. And, and for a time such as this. We're both Rainmaker alumni graduates. Yeah. It's, fun, it's fun to see these Rainmakers. So it's, he's our, he's our business mentor and coach. And, you know, ever since I met him, I'm just like in awe of everything he says. Yeah, thank absolutely. You. Bill, thank you so much for your time. You guys are awesome. Glad to be a part of your show today. Thanks thank for having you. me and uh, just keep up the great work. Thank you guys for being on the Angel and Tina Morning Show, where we come to you live every, sometimes live, every morning at 10 a.m. Eastern, right here on either Facebook or YouTube. But thank you guys so much for joining us, and we will see you guys tomorrow with Sharon Lecter and Carrie Conley. Bye, guys.